This was a gamer in early 22. He started the year feeling a bit blue. The problem was crypto, which then turned to shit though, and now you can buy a new GPU. But here, a special episode makes its way. On a channel called TechLens, uploaded today, it looks at the fuckery over the year, the companies that stumbled, the explosive gear. We reflect upon the year that passed, how everyone said that crypto would last. We look at the stories, Nvidia and others. So come on in and listen, my brothers. In this video of Poem We Ponder. So tell me now, who is the sponsor? So I have a question. Are you an avid PC enthusiast stuck with that ugly ass Windows watermark ruining your gaming and streaming experience? Well, I have great news for you. WhoKeys is a software licensing website dedicated to getting you affordable keys. And the best part is you can get rid of that watermark in a matter of minutes. All you need to do is head down to the video description, click the sponsor link and enjoy an additional 25% off using my coupon code TL20. With PayPal checkout and quick key delivery, all you need to do is hit the Windows key, type activate and paste your key right here to become fully activated. It really is that simple and that cheap. So head down to the video description if that sounds right for you. And thank you Hookies for sponsoring this video. It starts with a boy on New Year's Day. His GPU broken, his life in disarray. The thing that he needs, this boy from Sydney. A card of performance while keeping his kidney. But the market is booming and crypto sets the price. So he turns to Newegg to roll the dice. Winning the shuffle he gets to reload. A GPU and a power supply about to explode. Happy is Larry, it goes into his system, completely unaware that he is the victim. A pop, a cry, a whimper, a dream. It all came crashing down completely unforeseen. He turns to Best Buy to give them his money, only to realize something completely unfunny. A total tech membership of $200 could get him a GPU before all the others. Sooner than he did, he counted his cash, but now it is April and in comes the crash. From 3,500 down to 1K, Ethereum had toppled come early May, with old GPUs and new now back in stock. This boy from Sydney still holding his sock for some reason. One of his options, of course, was Intel Arc, but with no cards on the market, they having a laugh? So RTX 3000 and RX 6K, they still had great performance, come to save the day. The other option that this boy considered, the RTX 4080 in a media blizzard with two different models and a different GPU core. Nvidia backtracked, will AMD score? The hype and the hope of gamers surrounded the XTX. The 7900 will be better than sex. Reviews came and this boy cried for an hour. He looked at the RTX 4000 with 12 volt high power. But EVGA was upset with Nvidia. They ended their race and there was still a hole in his computer, a big empty space. He saved, he counted, he bought a 4090. Just look at that GPU in all of its mighty. The day finally came, it's time to upgrade his system. And before it was dropped in, he was compelled to kiss him. Gaming for years, he felt like a collector, but now it was time to plug in the connector. A wiggle, a stretch, an adapter of new. His GPU was smoking and he hadn't a clue. The boy from Sydney still broken and wanting. AMD and Nvidia just give us mid-range or something. But companies are companies, we're shareholders too, and they enjoy money, like many of you. So look at price to performance and consider a used listing. You'll find plenty of content from TechLens. That's fitting. Happy New Year.